Okay, 10 and 0. Played a shocking tournament game yesterday. Um, I'm not even bothering showing it. It's one of those games where you think, oh, I'm going to try something a little bit different, you know, feeling confident. You never do that in a tournament game, you know. Don't try anything new. You stick with what you've been trading and practicing, what you're so familiar with. It's just weird when you're in tournament. It's an online game, um, so still should have known better. Even if it's over the board, still should know better. Don't try anything new. It doesn't work. It doesn't bode well for you. Okay, so this is the tournament game that I had yesterday, um, playing as white. And I, I said I wasn't going to show it, but I may as well show it just to show the mistake that I made, basically. Um, the whole idea when you're playing tournament games, especially, is um, you don't try anything new in there. Unless, of course, it is absolutely nailed on, then you don't try something new. You know, stick with the, the your normal pattern recognition, the normal way that you play your style, your systems, all of the things that you work on under your own personal mantra. Um, just stick with them and you're going to be happier and, and the end result. I'm not happy with the end result of this because I did something really stupid and I'm like thinking, why did you do that? So we opened up and you might not think it is um, majorly stupid, but I believe it was. And, and the computer agrees as well, obviously, and it's so basic. So opened up as usual, then we attacked the king, then we captured. Then they brought the knight through, so nothing unusual there. So then we attacked the pawn and we grabbed it, grabbed it with the knight. Then the knight came down. And then we came and supported the pawn. So that's all pretty straightforward. I don't have any major issues with that. And then they go for the fianchetto. So we castle, keeping it nice and simple, straightforward. So they bring the bishop through. Like I said, not a fan of the fianchetto. And we like to work against the fianchetto. And bring the bishop through. Uh, you know, I'm just wanting to get the pieces developed. No real issues with position at the moment. And then I bring the queen up here. Now, this was the most stupidest move that I just thought, well, I need to get my queen off of the back. And I'm bringing it here. And as I placed it here, I just thought, well, he's just going to come down here with the knight. Then you, you're going to get chased all over the place. And this knight's going to come and attack you. Where, where are you going to go? And then they're going to be putting pressure on this pawn here. Going to be putting pressure on the knight. The queen's going to come down here, start putting pressure on this area. And... All the while, I'm just thinking, why did you make, why did you move it there? All you had to do was move the rook across to this square, keep it nice and steady. There's nothing majorly wrong with bringing the rook across, which is what I would ordinarily do. So I wouldn't rush to get the queen out there. If anything, yeah, it would be a queen move to here, just supporting the bishop, you know, getting ready to attack here. But why on earth did I bring my queen to here? All I looked at was this square, thinking, oh, I'm going to champion this square with one of the knights and get them up to here somehow. And for the life of me, even now, I'm just think, looking at it, I feel sick. Why did I bring that um, queen there? Absolutely ridiculous. So they brought the knight down, and at that point, I'm thinking, I'm tempo behind now. This was an absolutely ridiculous queen move. So I moved the queen out of the way, still wanting to keep tracks of the knight because the bishop's going to be looking to come through here. Got all this pressure potentially coming through. So from that one move, I felt like I'd lost loads of tempo. And as I mentioned, the queen coming down. Computer doesn't like that move, but I was already in a flap with my position, with my queen, thinking, well, this knight's coming here. I'm going to be chased around all over the place. They're going to get a pawn with the queen. Um, the game's lost already. So I take the knight off the board and they take with the bishop. So I'm trying to get some sort of compensation, but I'm just believing I am not actually winning the momentum in the game. The tempo doesn't seem right for me. And this was the most ridiculous move. I, I even spent a bit of time on that one. Well, not too long, but Two minutes and something is a long time. 
and all. All I was thinking of was saving this pawn. That's all I thought, well, I'm going to block. But then as I placed it there, then obviously they can just bring the pawn down and attack the knight. This movement was better. Yeah, bringing the knight here. Yeah, realising the fact that I'd misplaced my pieces and I was going to lose the pawn. But the computer's showing I don't need to get bent out of shape over the position. But I do when I make that move. So that's two erroneous moves I made in the game. Because I'm flapping over nothing. I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to block it. And, and it was the two idiotic moves. So never do that in a tournament. If you ever play in a tournament, play the games that you've been training to play. And don't change. It just messes your game up completely. And I should know better, but, you know, it happens to everybody. It happens to Grandmaster, Super Elite, everybody. You know, they try something different in a game and it just doesn't go right. Whereas if they just played it the way that they would normally play, it would have been a little bit better. And even if they did lose, they'd feel a lot happier with it. So, yeah, that was, a cru that was the crucial move, the queen move and definitely the knight move here. I'm on the back foot from that point on. So they bring the pawn down. And we're looking to see if we can get some compensation now. This is definitely not my style. It's not my way of playing at all. Um, don't know what was wrong with my brain at all. It was just totally frazzled right from the get-go of the queen move. And then I'm thinking, I'm on the back foot here. There's no way I can equalize in this situation. And now I've gone and lost the rook. So it's made it completely worse now. We do have a flexible knight. I try to sort of reframe it and think, well, we've got a flexible knight. We can work against these two flat rooks. But on the position on the board, we're going to be hard pressed to actually survive because they have two pawns extra. Is that right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one pawn and a rook. But they have a cluster of pawns in this area here that look really powerful. So bringing the rook across and if they go for the exchange, then we're playing with the flexible knight against the flat rook. But positionally, we're not feeling too strong. And now the queen's just peeling pawns off. So now, you know, they are two pawns up, three pawns up even. And was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? One, two, three, four, five. Two pawns up. And at this point now, really, I'm just struggling to find the position. Trying to struggle to see if I can get a draw in any way, shape or form. Blocking off pieces. But the more I'm looking at this, it's not looking too good for us. And at that point, I resigned. So, tail of the tape. Don't do anything different in your tournament games. If you're playing a serious game, don't do anything different to what you've been practicing throughout your lifetime in chess. It won't bode well for you. Unless, of course, it is absolutely nailed on and it's based on all of your learning and your experience and the calculation is down pat and it is different to the way you play but the calculation works then go for it but other than that i would say normal gameplay stick with what you actually practice it'll board well for you in the future So, yeah, stick with what you do. I mean, the thing is, when I'm doing training games, um, I stick with what we do so that we keep drilling it. Get into tournament mode, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, let's try this. And it's probably because the opponent moves slightly differently. So you think, oh, well, I have to do something a little bit different. And it just takes you out of your own comfort zone. Let's just hit the king here. Just keeping things simple. And if it goes wrong, at least then, you know, you've followed what you have been practicing. And you're not going to get shocked or anything like that. Just going to bring the queen out. Maybe get castled at some point. Looking to see if we get this, but the knight's just going to come in and hit us. Yeah. So we could x-ray through. I think we'll do that. Next way through to the queen. Let's get castled. 
Thing is, he can take the pawn here because he's still going to be on the queen. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, but I think they're going to go with this. They're going to realise that they can actually take the pawn. Because our queen doesn't have any defence on. Oh, they've not done that yet. Okay, so we can either move the queen out of the way to the other side of the board. Because that's a bit of a danger zone, I think. Let's move it to the other side of the board. And smaller piece attacking higher piece. So it's just harassing us at the minute. So I'm going to bring the queen just here. It's attacking this pawn. Trying to turn it into positives. It's also protecting this. Okay, that's nice. Let's castle. So we've got the basics out of the way. We've danced a bit with the queen. But I don't think it's to our detriment per se. They're dancing with their bishop backwards and forwards. So we can get our pieces out. Maybe get the bishop out here. That looks more uncomfortable, doesn't it? Although he just drops his pawn. We come here. He's not going castling. Could attack there. Bishop. Open up the rook. Try and hit this file. Should we save the bishop? Looks like there's going to be a big attack coming down the centre here. I think I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. They're probably just going to drop the pawn. No, nope, not doing. Let's take. So we're now looking to sort of put some pressure towards this pawn here. Get this knight up. Get into, into the game. Ooh, interesting time. So let's bring the knight here. Got two on there at the minute. They can go and castle, obviously, to support. Can bring our queen just here. Oh, he's attacking our queen. So the move there quick. He's got this pawn. Let's bring the queen here. Lining up. Obviously, we're not getting through until we hit the pawn. So I think this pawn's going to come down to stop that. We do have this pawn as well. Now it's late to the party, but we're trying to build something towards the king area. So they've gone and castled. So that gives us time to either attack here or bring the queen across. But we can't bring the queen across just yet. I don't think we want to block with that one. I think we want to hit the knight with this. Okay, so they do take. And... Can take with the queen. I don't think there's a problem with that. He's not got a check on our king, has he? Let's just do this. Knight's got no protection. Let's not forget. Get the knight out of the way. Hit the queen. Don't forget he's got knights as well. He's going to be looking for forks and all sorts of stuff. Pawn attacking. Giving us things to think about so we can't get settled. Rook coming across, maybe. Oh, so he's not attacking us. He's moved his knight, he's defending. And okay, so let's just move the knight and continue with the rook attack on the queen if we have time. Okay, so he's not doing that. So let's attack the queen like we said. What's the situation? Ideally getting the queen here and putting pressure here. but Oh, he's just landed on our knight. Oh, bless him. An element of luck again. But they're still playing on, so we need to be boxing clever then, don't we? Okay, so rook here. Or maybe the rook needs to stay out of the way. Do we just hit the knight? So you've got to check on our king. Just hit the knight. See if we can trade down now. So the knight's gone into the far corner. Let's just take. Has he got a check on our king? He does have a check on the king. Let's just go for a trade. Is there a blocker? No, the pawn's protecting.
Okay, simple trade. Let's just trade down. Can put, go and put a check on the king and get a pawn off the board. Don't think there's any checkmates with these knights. Knight can come here with a check. Okay, let's go here, put a check on the king. As soon as we come off here, he's going to put a check on our king, but there's no checkmate, so let's just take. Well, not that I can see, but it'd be a miracle if I did see a checkmate with just one knight. Yeah, so, oh, he's come for it anyway. So do we just move it here and is, has he got any further checks or is his pawn just going to take? What's he going to do? Making his way around there. Let's just go here. Yeah, he's just taking pawns and let's, shall we take here? Stay away from my king, queen. <laughs> just move this out of the way and just push this pawn up. Let's move the knight. Can come here with the queen. We're far enough away from the king and the queen, so there's no forks per se. Let's just push. Attacking the queen. I don't know if this is a bit of a... Let's just put a check on the king. Let's push. It's coming round. I don't think there's much that they can actually do. Let's push. Got a check on the king. We need to just get this king out of the way from any checks now. So I think hiding it in the corner here will just suffice. It's coming for the pawn. Let's push. It's coming for the queen, rather. And we can just put a check on the king and then get another queen. It's very brave of them carrying on. Let's get the queen. That should be job done. Let's put the check here. Uh, why don't we just take the knight with the... And, oh, okay, they've resigned. Excellent. Nice game. Okay, best move for black. And let's see what we can do. This looks nice. Attacking the pawn, so the bishop has to move. If it moves here, then we get like a sort of weird looking threat on the king. Taking off material. Might even be a checkmate type thing, I think. Yep, so rook comes here. If they want to save themselves and push this, then we take the bishop. But then he takes our bishop. Ah. Okay, so we've got to think this through. We've got to think this through. That looks nice, but he just takes our bishop. But the rook is defending the bishop. Sorry, got a tunnel vision. <laughs> Right, okay, so I think it's straightforward there. Whoa, didn't even see any of that business. Well, we're going to have to just move the king, aren't we? So it's taken the bishop, it's panicking, so we're going to be up material. So we can take the rook, can't we? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whew. Go for another one. Uh, best move for black. Looks like best move for black would be this, but the queen is actually guarding. So would be this rook going here. 
and then that would be checkmate because the only piece that can go in front is that and then the queen can take the rook yes does that seem feasible to me yeah and then take nice one that was a bit quick okay go on to the next one and uh, find the best move for white it's got this square queen can take the bishop but is it looking to do that take the queen sorry Oh, we get a bishop, don't we? Take. Bishop takes. Then we get the bishop off the board. Here. But this darn square bishop can put a check on my king. I don't really like them apples. Is it a different move order? What's the, what's the deal? Squeezing round the back. It looks simple, doesn't it? Takes, takes, rook takes, bishop puts a check on our king, king moves. Yeah, that doesn't look too clean though, does it? Because I mean, he's got a bishop and a rook against uh, two rooks, it still can work. Must be a better movement. Must be a better movement than exchanging the queen. What do we think? What do we think? What do we think? Come on, come on, think. It's not forcing. Bishop can move. Yeah, that's being a little bit. I don't think that's going to work. Attack the rook. Again, it's not forcing. You can just take the pawn here. Ooh, I don't like it. Okay, takes. That's pretty straightforward. Takes. I don't like the fact that the bishop's got this check on our king. Take the bishop. Bishop puts the check. We move. Yeah. King moves. No, I don't really like it. Don't really like it. It doesn't seem sim it seems simple in terms of material, so we'll have two we'll have two rooks and they'll have a bishop and a rook. So if you're looking at material gain, then that's the way to go. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's winning because But the computer just likes that, doesn't it? It does like material gain. There must be something better, surely. But it's a timing thing, isn't it? There's no nothing there. Nothing else is really forcing. Like we take, then the bishop has to take the queen. Really. Which frees up this bishop here. Let's play it backwards. The rook can't take the bishop because the queen is just going to take the rook. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, so we won't do that one. Queen could take a pawn and be on the rook. That doesn't seem to make sense. Well, it's okay, but it's not like a major thing for on the board. We're still guarding this area because the queen's probably looking to put a check on. But the rook is easily defended, it can move, it can go back to where it came from, it can go here, options all over the place. So in the eyes of material gain, I believe it's just going to go for that type of thing. Uh, yes, and they've done exactly what we said. Yeah, alright, so it's a material gathering thing, 
but there's no guarantees that you're winning in this type of position. Sorry.
things and it's find the best move for white and instantly drawn to this might be a mistake but it's got a check so we would win a knight but they would be able to take our knight bishop's got this knight's got a funky check but it can be taken So queen check. But we're looking for another check, aren't we, somewhere? The queen can always come back to defend as well. If the king comes here, and if we did take, then he can still take our knights. Don't like that position. Don't like that position whatsoever, but it probably is going to be as simple as that, isn't it? Queen check. Although, in essence, if we did do that and the queen went back, we take, then the bishop will be able to take the knight and we'll be a piece up. But, if we go there and the king just moves here, then we still have the aspect of being able to take this no, no, we don't. If we then take the knight, if the queen takes, then the queen can take the knight. The queen's not coming to put a check on here. Can't come here because it'll get taken. So it might be as simple as that. I think it's all about this queen dance I'm going to give it a shot so they actually do go down so we can now this is the element where do we actually take and then we get the knight off the board anyway that's what we said but do they have some fancy way I think it is just simply taking and we get that knight yes and then we take okay that was okay-ish. Next one. And find the best move for black. Let's see if we get into the game. Best move for black seems to be taking the knight here. Takes the knight. We're on the bishop. Bishop takes. Then the knight can take the bishop. So it's a little bit of a will and... Is it? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, and then the knight comes here. Excellent, okay. These might be simple ones, but hey, I don't know. I'm not looking at the rating level of them. Let's have a look at this one. It's uh, best move for black. Obviously instantly drawn to that, but the queen does take. Knight can come here, but the queen takes. So something to do with the knight. Queen, check. It's going to be checkmate. Queen, check. There's nothing guarding that square. The rook comes down. Rook comes down. I had a similar game to this, where the knight was actually blocking the king over here. Yeah, it was blocking that one. So the rook just goes down and puts the check on. So we'll do that. 
Excellent. Okay, very nice. I think that's enough warm up for going into the hardest chess site in the world, is it? Yeah, nice one.